Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel is demanding answers from the Air Force after it suspended 17 officers at a nuclear missile base in North Dakota. Their string of unpublicized failures came to light after an inspection in March tested the group's missile launch proficiency. They were rated as marginal, the equivalent of earning a D grade, barely passing. In the nuclear missile business, launch operators don't get Ds. Am I comfortable with that? Uh, I, I, nobody wants to be marginal in this business. In Colonel Robert Vercher supports the blistering email his deputy delivered, which said, we're discovering such rot in the crew force. We are, in fact, in a crisis right now. Anytime you have crew members uh, that do not perform to the standard you'd expect, uh, then uh, we will take action. The Air Force updated safety protocols in 2007 after a B-52 flew across the United States carrying six nuclear-tipped cruise missiles. The pilot had no idea his bomber had been mistakenly loaded with warheads. On my mark, rotate launch key to set. Three, two, one, mark. T minus 50. The movie War Games was pure fiction. But one Air Force officer is facing severe consequences. He violated rules that could have potentially compromised secret missile launch codes. These are the, probably the most sensitive codes in existence. Bruce Blair is a former nuclear missile launch officer who says the safety breach increases the risk of an unauthorized launch. Uh, or it could lead to um, the arming of a missile that shouldn't be armed in peacetime. So these are really uh, serious, serious issues. Those missiles aren't called Minutemen for nothing. They're all fueled and ready and can fire in 60 seconds. Now, this morning I'm told that two of the 17 airmen are in the process of being recertified, but officials say no one is climbing back in that bunker until commanders are sure that they're ready. Chris Lawrence, CNN, the Pentagon.